the way that White looks like he's going, I think he's actually going to expand towards the 9 o'clock position. He's going to try to pick up a, uh, a, 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 a gas base there instead. So that might actually be a pretty good position together. Oh, it gets quicker. Oh, nice little mine clear that by one single Marine there by White. I think it was four mines that he cleared with that one single thing. Still going for drops. He already has two out there. Might already have a third one flying around. But the drops already give him a significant uh, maneuverability. And is a significant threat to MVP's play. But he does have a lot of turrets out there now. Oh, which is going to catch. Yeah, dropship flies back. Almost getting caught. Oh, one more hit from the turret. And that would have been curtains. Meanwhile, another dropship coming down from the right side. And a Wraith, actually, interestingly enough. Wraith uh, forced back that barracks might also be help. Uh, might also be there to help him against any uh, stray dropships that try to come at his base once that eventually happens. Which I assume will be the evolution for MVP. Although, I have seen some strange builds going off. Some players just completely skip the dropships. And go for something else a little bit more funky. But Light at the very least keeping MVP off guard. MVP Memo does have a third base. Light almost. Oh, one. Oh, man. One more. Oh, no. Gets caught by a bunch of glass on the left side. Did not see that coming. Losing a dropship there. But, yeah. No real. Light was the only real harassment. But he lost forces and that didn't really harass much at all. Has his own 6 o'clock up now. Both players have their. Third base is up. And it seems like MVP is going to try to pick up the upper right hand position. The double gas. So. It seems to be m wondering whether both players are just going to evolve that way instead. Just try to take north and south side of the map respectively. Because sure, you, the 6 o'clock base does not have any minerals. But the corner base is with light. is now going to go for a little left in the corner base. The corner base have double gas. So it kind of makes up. You still get four gas guiders and four mineral, fi uh, mineral fields to mine from. With weapons, two upgrades now for light. No upgrades on the opposite side for MVP. So light's going to be able to... White's well, going to have a nice advantage here on the ground. If there's a tank engagement ever coming up, Wraith's been engaging some Goliaths, and one of them getting picked off. Another one possibly getting picked off, and I'm not overall too sure. But if ever a tank engagement does happen, White is going to have an advantage, but just there hasn't been any tank engagement. He hasn't really been playing that massive chess game. Now going to catch some tanks out in the open, put down some mines, not picking out that last tank, oddly enough. Um, Could have just gotten in close with the Vultures and actually picked that up, but deciding not to. Man, it feels a while since I've commented in a P <laughs> TVT game there are a bunch of vultures can open up in the open but it does seem like both players are going to just take their respective north and south side of the, of the map and instead of fighting over the corners instead going to fight over the 9 and 6 o'clock positions I actually understand this move because the 9 and 6 o'clock uh, are extre look extremely vulnerable to drops you just d not a lot of locations see on the right side MVP just plopping down a bunch of turrets uh, it doesn't seem like he's actually going to plop a base there just trying to prevent his opponent from picking all that because I'm not really sure if there's a space in for a command center there might be but he's definitely getting himself ready for drops there uh, meanwhile now White just moving across the map he's taking the middle for himself so has a bunch of vultures and some tanks coming from the back I mean, he does have a force to possibly counteract that as well he has very vulture heavy so he can run in with those and plant on some mines he could be in a pretty good position he does pick up the 9 o'clock position actually and the turrets are a very good idea because those 9 and 6 are extremely vulnerable to drops whoa where has where have the observers been this entire time? Two star ports with a bunch of rates coming out. So MVP's getting himself ready for, for some extreme dropship dropship hunting. Not only does he have all those turrets there, but he wants to go out there and make damn well sure there's nothing that anybody can do. And a bunch of tanks are going to get picked off by nothing. There's one turret there that did not get up. So tanks take a while to go down, even with all those wraiths. But there's going to force light back. A turret there to help defend, but even that turret... Not going to do too much more turrets, not going to come up. So Light's going to be forced to finally get some Goliaths into the game with all those Wraiths out there scanning the starports finally. I don't think he had, knew those were coming at all. Has some Goliaths out in the field as well. Vulture heavy still. And quite a few tanks as well. But with the, with the weapons upgrades also, Goliaths are going to be a significant boon uh, against those Wraiths. If they have, and of course I assume they have carry-on boosters at this time. MVP still hasn't worked on any upgrades. Not even sure if he has it. Uh, he, of course, does have army up there because, you know, Goliath, but um, I assume his weapons are going to be kicking in eventually. Because otherwise it's going to take him a little while to catch up and damage, you know what I mean? Uh, Light actually putting on commands that are a little off the uh, turret location. That's kind of interesting. Wondering whether he actually built a turret in the place he didn't want to and then forced just to build on a command center. I'm not altogether too sure what's going on there so four bases each for both players four gas so we're going to be seeing some insane macro kicking in uh, eventually 68 factories producing tanks and vultures uh probably goliaths as well and we're going to see how dropship heavy this game eventually becomes do see an army upgrading and a second army on the way for mvp so he's finally going to go for some upgrades 
I assume White's just going to go for weapons 3 before he does anything else, because weapons 3 seems to be... Get that weapons 3 before you do anything else, and you're going to be in a fairly decent position. Still, the Wraith out there is actually heavily damaged and not doing much of anything. Meanwhile, no MVP has been allowed to pick up the 9 o'clock position, so we sh uh, 3 o'clock position, I'm sorry, so we should have that fairly safely. White, meanwhile, gonna pick up his 3, so apparently both players just gonna, well, this is pick up on anything, but f now we finally see a huge engagement. White actually running across the right side, sieging up his tanks. Does have a very open location at the front, though. Vultures did not quite mention to do quite enough damage, though. So now White gonna be allowed to get in very close with his Vultures, plant on a bunch of mines. They're gonna clear up most of this. Yes, two tanks left. Now he's gonna come in and mop up, almost getting p losing a couple of his Goliaths due to mines. Polite doing a nice job there, cleaning up a huge force of MPs. He still has some backup coming in right now, but Light doing a nice, nice attack there overall. Now we do see two starports, where <laughs> control towers now, and more starports. So, wow, looks like, wondering whether MVP is actually going to start working on uh, Battlecruisers already. And upside, Light also adding a bunch of star points. So both players ready. Hey, we got four gas. Let's start working on some Battlecruisers. And very odd, Light actually mining at a distance at the Dino Clark position instead of floating his commander. I find that interesting. Let's see, two armories here. These are extra armories. So they're going to be working on aerial upgrades. Wondering whether Light actually just got weapons too and didn't work because... Especially if you're hitting upgrades early on, you don't really need to get weapons 3 right away. But both players seem to th be thinking about battlecruiser ideas, and I'm wondering if they're going to be out. And I'm wondering whether those arm that early armor of MVP was actually working on aerial upgrades instead. So maybe he's planned this entire time, which is good, because I did not see the upgrades on the race. I did not notice. Um, yeah, still doesn't have any ground armor upgrades, so I'm assuming some his race probably have some upgrades. I don't see that yet, but... Uh, Seems like he had a plan all the time to go quickly for better cards, pick up four bases. Light seems to be moving across the map yet again. A bunch of tanks out there. Finally, it's a Wraith there to assist and some Vultures on the front, though. No blockading forces there at the front. F Light does have a few, though, so no mines even come close. He does come in, get some nice scans off, and has enough tanks to really clean this up. And uh, MVP also kind of paying with those ground force, but not having those upgrades. Oh, I'm wondering whether he can actually get back into the game with just a bunch... Oh, a huge bunch of battle cruisers. No upgrades on those. Oh, just now, as I say, that but number one kicks in. Uh, upgrades on weapons, and of course the battle cruisers have the weakness that they are, you know, heavy. They have a lot of health and all that, but uh, they don't become. They, they in some parts they're like ultralisks. They're not, you know, they're not optimum in usage until. Uh, they get their upgrades. Once they get their upgrades going, they're pretty good. On the opposite side, we already see weapons 1 and armor 1 upgrades on the aerial forces of light. So he's still ahead in upgrades. Apparently had a plan the entire time. Get weapons 2 for my aerial, for my ground forces. Get an advantage on the ground. Then work on battle cruisers. Get the 1-1 get the one, one going and just win. I'm um, wondering whether he d did go for some battle cruisers. So we're going to be seeing eventual battle cruisers and ground battles. So does look like it's going to be a very long, drown-out TVT and... I am without beverage. Oh joy. What was I thinking? Ooh, mine. Mine picking off a tank. Ooh. Oh no. Horrible. So both players are going to continue adding turrets all over the place. Now, of course, you want those defenses against those battle cruisers. So the battle cruisers are going to be basically kept back until they're strong enough to just have a large enough number and upgrades. Just go out there and do a mass amount of damage. Weapons, armor. Armor upgrades out there as well for those better cruisers for MVPs, so both so both players have aerial forces and equal upgrades, but uh, Light still has the stronger ground force. Volts is going to come in and try to harass his inside 6, inside inside 9, I'm sorry, and I'm not altogether whether that's going to be too successful, although it's tanks defending that. Let's see, Light with his own battle cruisers, and I'm already tired of this game. <laughs> this is the area of the game where it kind of, you know, starts turning into... Slowness, slowness, nothing is happening. There was an army that wasn't spinning. Uh, why did I decide to pick, to commentate this game just before I have to go to work, exactly? Because I'm just going to be going to work and like, Hello, I'm working. Oh, God. Something like that. Oh, uh, okay, interesting enough. A science was a lot there as well for, for MVP, might be some for some defensive matrixes, because I don't see any other use for it. With the way the battle's going, he does have a superior battlecruiser fleet as well, larger number, so White doesn't want to go, does not want to go and engage those. Uh, we're going to be seeing some Yamato guns coming up as well. Yamato, kablam. Kablamo. 
just uh, honestly though, looking at these two cheats, I really do not want to, you know, watch nothing happen for 10 minutes. Uh, just then to have a spectacular battle cruisers on battle cruiser battle that lasts for 30 seconds because that's gonna suck More vulture has been coming in from light and now final MVP gonna go for move has a significant number of battle cruisers out there Not a lot of turrets and light actually moving back with his own battle cruisers to help support this But the very least is gonna do some damage pick off the uh, Yeah What's its face? The <laughs> My brain just, yeah, I just had a massive brain fart. My brain just died there. Refinery, right, that's 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 the word. <laughs> I mean, people are just moving back with these battle cruisers repairing a little bit on the ground. We do see that White has some...